G'day guys, it's Craig here um, and to, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you a real quick and easy way to add stars um, to your image in Lightroom. Um, so I'm really just going to show you how to use the spot removal tool to do this and normally the spot removal to, tool is really to do what it just says is to remove things um, usually. So if I'll just grab the spot removal tool over here and I'll click on that and say that I want to remove this little buoy down the bottom here, I'll just click on that. The program would find a, a similar area um, in the image and then replace it. So if I press click on done, you can see now that it um, it has removed that image, uh, that sorry, that, um, that buoy from the bottom there. So you can use this instead of uh, taking away things, you can add things in. So the real trick here is to um, make sure you have at least one star in your image. So you can see up here I've got the moon um, and then also I've got um, one star here. Looks like Venus or something along those lines. Um, so you just grab your spot removal tool, click on that and you pick on a spot where you want another star. So let's call it, make it about here. Now what it's going to do is it's going to find an area where it thinks it's going to need to replace that with. So you just cl click on this secondary area here and move that over on top of your star and you can see now it has just created an extra star in your image. It does a really good job of blending through um, so you really can't see um, any areas here. It looks like a duplicate so I'll just grab another one here and you can do this as many times as you like um, to grab uh, to add additional stars into your image there. You can see here I've got three or four and a cool little trick too as well is that once you've done that you might say look I'm going to add stars with different brightness level and all you need to do here is just move your opacity slider up and down. So if I just move my opacity down to say 7 and you can see over here now it's virtually disappeared. I don't know if you can see that in. I'll um, add that um, here. Let's see. Up here. So you can see now the opacity um, I've dragged the opacity down to 7. If I put that up to 100 here, it um, makes the star brighter again. So I'll just grab another one. And let's drag this star over here. Let's make the opacity on this about 40 or something. So it just reduces the brightness of the star. So it looks like that you've got different, um, different types of stars in your image. Let's take that down to 15. Let's do a nice bright one up the top here. Click and drag that over. And I'll put the opacity back up to 100. And I'll click on Done. So let me just show you what that looks like now. So you can see here I've got additional stars um, on the top of the sky here. I'll do a before and after. Actually, I've, I've done some adjustments here. So you'll see the adjustments that I've done, made to the image as well. But you can see I've only had one star and the moon. Now I've got at least a half a dozen here as well. So um, I'll show you, I'll zoom in a bit and I'll show you before and after. And you can see all the additional stars that I've put in the image here. So it's a really uh, nifty little thing to do with the spot removal too, is to use it to add in stars um, to your image. Uh, like I said, you just need at least one star in there that you can duplicate throughout. But you can see really um, it does a great job um, and the stars look genuine because they are genuine. Uh, you're just duplicating a few extra stars around in your image. So uh, really cool way to do that. Um, so that's it guys. Um, hope you uh, got something out of that. Um, cool way to add some additional stars. Um, and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks. Bye.